Welcome to another example of integration by substitution. By now we know the goal of integration by substitution is to let part of the integrand be equal to u so that differential u resembles the remaining part of the integral. And normally when we have a composite function, we let u be equal to the inner function. So in this integrand, notice how we have sine of e to the power of two x, so we're gonna let u be equal to e to the two x which means using this equation, we could write this as sine u. And now we want to find differential u, so we can write this integral in terms of u. So differential u is equal to the derivative of e to the power of two x with respect to x times dx. Well, the derivative of e to the two x would be e to the two x times two, or two e to the two x dx. So notice how this does resemble the remaining part of the integral. We have three e to the two x dx, but our equation says du equals two e to the two x dx. So to simplify the substitution, let's go ahead and divide both sides of this equation by two. So now we have one half differential u equals e to the two x dx. So using this equation, we can perform a substitution for e to the two x dx and we can just factor out this three. So now we're gonna write this in terms of u. We'll factor out the three. And then again, e to the two x dx is equal to one half differential u. We'll factor the one half out. Here's our differential u. And then sine e to the two x is just sine u. And now we'll find the antiderivative and then write this in terms of x. So we'll have three halves times the antiderivative of sine u is equal to negative cosine u plus c. So we'll negative cosine u plus c. And u is equal to e to the two x. So we have negative three halves cosine e to the two x plus c. This would be our antiderivative using u substitution. I hope you found this helpful.